Summer was Nia's favorite time of the year. She loved the Mississippi summer sun, the dust from the red dirt under her bare feet, and her aunt's big blue house. Auntie, auntie, Nia shouted with joy as she ran through the front door. Aunt Geneva greeted her with a heartfelt hug and gentle kiss on the cheek. Nia looked at the stack of papers. What are you working on, auntie? These are reminders for our neighbors about the U.S. Census. I want to make sure that everyone in the town is counted, Aunt Geneva shared. Nia asked, what is the census? Aunt Geneva replied, the census means counting every member of a community. When we count the people in our community, it makes our needs more visible. Every 10 years, the community is counted. It's important to try to count everyone, no matter what their age or where they come from, Aunt Geneva said. Counting everyone helps communities remain connected and strong. Nia pondered, who would be counted? She asked, will my little sister Pearl, Uncle Ronnie, and cousin Paul be counted? What about my teacher, Miss Jackson, and your puppy, Sprinkles? Not Sprinkles, but the entire family, your school teacher and friends will be counted. It's important that they are counted because that way each community gets the resources it needs. It's about equality, Aunt Geneva said. Nia learned about equality at school. She beamed with pride as she said equality is about being treated fairly. Aunt Geneva gave her a reassuring nod. Let's go deliver these reminders to our neighbors, Aunt Geneva said. Aunt Geneva began to hum, people get ready, as she pulled the wagon. Nia imagined being on a train as she listened to the wagon's wheels rolling along. Bumpa, 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 bumpa. Before long, they reached Mr. Roberts' house. Good afternoon, Mr. Roberts, called Aunt Geneva. Don't forget to fill out your census. I finished my census last week, Mr. Roberts said. I want my grandchildren to be counted. Their school wants to add a new science lab and music center. Aunt Geneva winked at Nia. That was one family counted. Their community had many more voices that needed to be heard. Nia and Aunt Geneva walked down the winding road to Mrs. Taylor's house. Mrs. Taylor sitting on the porch sipping sweet tea with her friends. Aunt Geneva asked, Mrs. Taylor, has your family been counted? Yes, ma'am, they have. Did you know our closest hospital is over an hour away? That's a long way to drive when there's an emergency. We need to build a hospital closer to our town. Aunt Geneva and Nia walked from house to house, placing reminders in each mailbox and greeting their neighbors as they walked along. Fire Chief Betty drove up beside them. Good to see you, Nia. Glad you're here for the summer. Did you complete your census, Aunt Geneva asked? Of course, Chief Betty said. Our community is growing in size and we need more fire trucks to keep us safe. Nia and Aunt Geneva continued on their journey. Oh, Nia's feet ached from walking, but she was proud to be a part of something important. Once they had handed out their last reminder, Nia announced, we did it. And Geneva smiled. Yes, we did it with the support of our neighbors, families, and friends. The census will make sure that we can build a better community. Billions of dollars are given to help communities like ours all over the country, said Aunt Geneva. Nia declared with excitement, I can't wait to share everything I learned when I get home. I want to help my community be counted in the census. Remember, no matter who you are or where in the country you live, you count, I count, we all count.